Brett, it's a pleasure to have you. Well, thank you. I'm happy to be here. Having worked at major corporations in Cisco until about uh, under two years ago, now you moved on to start Zerva Ventures. Correct. Uh, the model is very different. When I think of venture, I think of investing with other people. But what you are actually doing is you're investing in your own companies, but trying to find the right people to run it. Exactly. And you call it not an incubator, but a germinator. It's exactly. a new term. So we want to learn from you how you want to build on this idea. Sure. Um, you know, it's, it's clearly not a, it's not a brand new idea, and in fact, the company that I had that I sold to Cisco is called Airspace, and it was germinated to use the term by Storm Ventures. So in the case of Airspace, um, Storm had an, you know, an idea of a space they want to attack, talk to customers, refine the idea, assemble the founding team, put in money, and launch the company. And then that company ultimately was pretty successful and sold to Cisco in 2005. Um, and so what I basically what I'm doing is copying that same model, um, but not inside a VC firm. Um, so my focus is you know very 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 small team um, from an overhead perspective, really looking for ideas. And we spent actually the last few months actually developing a set of theses around software that actually I think can make a bunch of companies out of. And then you know the plan then is to just execute those in series. How is this? strategy different for this one compared to the regular model where you actually invest in companies because now you're investing your own companies but but the, the people are going to be similar who are going to come and run this. Correct and certainly we, we, we want to select for similar attributes you want people who are self-starters entrepreneurial and so on the diff you know two differences you know the the model of investing in somebody else's idea is essentially a lottery model right got a lot of people coming up with ideas you know you filter them you know, and one out of ten, one out of a hundred, one out of a thousand, depending on your ratio, is good. So for the investor, that's a nice model. For the founder, not so much. <laughs> right? Because you're basically, you know, you're you're the filter e. Um, you know, and to have a successful venture, you need a few things. You need to have a compelling team. You need to have a compelling idea in a compelling space. Um, best case. And you know, in, in practice. You know, and you actually have to find the right investors. You know, for orthogonal of those three things, and those are all fairly hard to bring together. Um, you know, I think from my perspective, you know, I think I can, I think I can help with all of those. I think I can select for founders, um, so you don't necessarily have to rely on you know, what happens incidentally, where you got a friend, and if that friend is great, that's great. If the friend is not so great, it's not but, so great. But will the commitment part be the same as the original founder who has a sweat and blood? And money invested in it compared to somebody who's going to be an employee co-founder so to say yeah certainly my experience so far is the commitment's not any different um, you know and you know in, in this model they, they end up with still end up with major equity stakes right I mean this, this these are not just employees right my interest isn't to use their labor and not have them oh, sure. end up with substantial rewards um, you know and so you know, you sort of get a few months in and it just feels like another startup. Um, you know, again, the difference is, you know, the, the um, discipline around team formation and even more so the discipline around idea validation, you know, which is where I think the vast majority of startups fail. Um, you know, they sort of have a technical idea and they start building it and then hope somebody invests, hope somebody buys it. Um, and that's not actually a terribly good way to start a company. What verticals are you focusing on? It's a good question. Um, you know, the first company I started uh, when I left Cisco was actually a small business play. Um, you know, the company I'm starting this coming week is actually an S a contrarian SDN play, software defined networking play. Um, the investment thesis I have is actually around software companies in various vertical categories. And we've developed actually a pretty refined investment thesis. Um, and so, in that case, the answer is sort of many of them. Um, and I'm expecting, you know, we'll start, um, you know, probably three-ish companies a year in this model. Um, you know, and certainly, you know, I'm, you know one, one of the critical factors in this model is, in fact, recruiting. Um, you know, I, I, I think, you know, given our targets, I think we can be a little more systematic than a lot of startups here um, around, you know, personalities, domain knowledge, and so on, and actually avoid a lot of fairly obvious errors um, to short-circuit that. So, as you can tell, I'm actually pretty excited 
Oh, oh absolutely. I'm doing this. Excitement is an integral part of what you're doing, and we look forward to hearing more success stories out of this venture. Well, thank you. Thank I you for the, the questions today.